think a great place to start is the question, is music for you a fountain of youth? Uh, yes, composing, uh, as I've said to other composer friends, you know, uh, um, becomes hypnotic. Uh, when you're in it, time stops. Uh, in a horrible but great comparison is Beethoven. I've been reading a book on him, and he was in such intense pain all the time, gastrointestinal problems, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it all disappeared when he composed. Very strange, but yes, you call it a fountain of youth, but... Uh, but it keeps it, you young, which is the same. Well, in a same. way, yes. Yeah. Uh, you, could, you know, you know, and notice, you know, I used to work with Stravinsky, and he was always very youthful, especially when he got in contact with music. When we got to the recording and things like that, yeah, there's a certain life that comes, you know. So you can say fountain of youth, and we should do it happen actual in actuality. Well, I think most people, uh, when they think of how old they could have got, 85, they think, well, maybe I'll be in a rocking chair. Who knows? Mm -hmm. You're 85. You're still writing. Mm -hmm. So one has to imagine this has more. You know, it's more than hypnotic. It's actually actually reinvigorating, it extends your mm -hmm. life. Yeah. And because that's because you're doing creative things, I think. Yeah. You're in the flow as artists. Sure. So you're sure. in the flow. So that's the